Now to the new developments involving a motorist who struck and killed a construction worker who was on the job. Lindsay Gibson was sentenced to prison this afternoon. Investigators say Gibson was under the influence of morphine when she plowed into the victim. RTV6 reporter Derek Thomas has that story. Derek. Jenna, this is a sad, tragic case, especially since the legislature has tried to toughen laws to better protect construction workers. Lindsay, are you sorry? 25 year old Lindsay Gibson pleaded guilty to driving under the influence of drugs causing the death of Bradley Arthur. In May of last year, the car she was driving struck and killed him while he was doing construction work in the 9200 block of East 10th Street. Gibson received a 12 year sentence, 10 years executed, six years in prison, four years on work release, with two years suspended. Bradley's wife, reacted. I don't think she got long enough, but I also realize she needs help, and I want her to get that help. How tough has this been for you and your family? Hard. It's very hard. I was married to him for 35 years. Gibson needs help because she admitted being a drug addict. She was under the influence of morphine when she struck and killed Arthur. She was, in fact, on probation for a separate drug offense when this crime occurred. There's also the issue of a construction worker being victimized by a motorist. They, they don't care. They just are in a hurry. They want to get where they need to go. And they don't, they don't take into effect or, you know, that there is somebody actually there doing their job and that they might hit them and they might take their life. It doesn't matter to them. It matters to lawmakers. In 2011, they passed legislation to better protect construction workers along the road. That law was not used in this case because existing law was better. As we are contemplating statutory rewrites, I believe the ability to do a simple enhancement uh, to a higher grade felony if a construction worker is injured while in the line of his employment would protect construction workers in a, in a more positive manner. Now, Hirschauer tells me Terry Curry and the Indiana Prosecuting Attorneys Council are working on revising that construction worker law. He believes revisions are necessary. Derek Thomas, RTV6.